Hey, 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 this is Biggie Vegas, and I'm gonna show you another events place. Um, you can have weddings here. It's in the Del Webb um, area. Uh, I think this is Northwest Las Vegas. So, yep, we're gonna have an event here for uh, Vegas Healthcare Happy Hour. Okay, headed by um, Yvette and Diego. Well, actually, it's really Diego Trujillo, who's the chairman. So let me show you what it is. So it's called um, Adorn at the Dell. Okay, it looks like a beautiful uh, place where you can have events, parties, even weddings. So let's see how it looks like inside. So the beautiful thing about this, let's say this one is just decorated, put a lot of lights, and it's going to be beautiful. So I'm doing the... Las Vegas Heels, Health, Education, Advocacy, Leadership of Southern Nevada. Okay, that's Las Vegas Heels Organization. And this is the entrance, okay? So they really, this is really a party place. It's quite big. And you can have photos taken here. Let's party. You can also have your photos taken here, love and donuts put the donuts there <laughs> that's why that's why there are pegs and then you can have a photo here too yeah yeah so let's see tonight is the launch of uh, their magazine okay so let me show you it's uh the occupancy is 247 people so as you enter it looks like this very big place uh, and if you're very creative then well imagine how you can decorate this so it's beautiful and then they have the restrooms this way <laughs> Okay. Actually, basically, that's it. As long as uh, they have the restrooms in the right place, very convenient. Uh, kitchen is here. There. Yeah. And oh, they already have it. Uh, right here if you need whatever decors like mr. and mrs. is already here wow. So it's called adorn at the uh, gel web This is Northwest Las Vegas near Lake Mead Yep So Okay, we'll see what oh later. We'll see what they have anyway more or less this is another um events place for you guys all right so uh the one speaking is diego trevillo he's the chairman of the heels organization in las vegas for me for those that you don't know on my my degrees in theology i actually started in healthcare as a hospice chaplain because i wanted to work with patients and walk through that final step in their life and I just fell in love with hospice, moved into marketing, and saw a lot of gaps within our healthcare system. And I thought, well, how come no one's doing anything, right? So we started grouping together different uh, marketers and different companies and started to try to make an impact and a change in the city of Las Vegas. So the fact that Heels would recognize that, bring me on board, and that you guys would be patient and loyal enough to stick with Las Vegas Heels for the last two years, this is a, a big marker for me because I think from here, this is where we're really going to make the push to bring companies together, to bring our community together, and really be able to improve healthcare in Southern Nevada. So if you guys can give yourselves a big round of applause. Ooh. And I will actually join in that. Thank you for your belief in Heels. I think the best is yet to come. We have made it through this. And lastly, I want to thank, uh, I want to thank my fiance that has always been there, watching me pull my hair and pace in the living room, <laughs> thinking, oh my God, what am I gonna do? Yeah. <laughs> I want to thank all of you who have come out tonight. You know, uh, you know, uh, what are you doing? I was like, I think there's value here. I think we can do something and change the city and make things happen. And so 
I'm very glad that she's been patient and allowed for all of this to come to fruition. Um, there's also something very interesting we've been working on. When I came on board as CEO, one of my goals was I don't want to just step in and start making promises left and right, and everyone's going to be like, uh, let's see something happen. So my goal was to stay quiet, to start getting to work, to start restructuring things, and start making things begin to work so that I could say, hey, this is what we've delivered. We want to invite you to be a part of the next phase and the next step. Well, part of that next phase and the next step is what's happening with the healthcare sector partnership. I want a big round of applause for George Hempe, who's been putting in time. He works with the Vegas Chamber. He's in charge of workforce development. Um, and he's this is George. The, the, the key between workforce connections, go in, all the educators, everyone that's come together to apply for this grant and look for the changes that we're looking. So, George, I want to, if you could just give us a couple minutes, a brief update, okay. whatever's left out of the magazine. There's also an article about the healthcare sector partnership that's happening. I'm going to hand the mic to you now. Ooh, George! Thank you. I don't know I was going to say anything tonight. Uh, my name is George Hempe, and I come in peace. <laughs> so that, that's how I open up everywhere I've worked. Hey, yeah, there's the Colton. Uh, so people know that I have no agenda. Right? I, I do want to say something about Heels. I want to say something about Diego. One of the things that I try to do wherever I, I'm working, um, and I worry is what's Can I borrow the magazine? I look for regional champions. Thank you. And Diego's definitely one of your regional champions. So this is the uh, healthcare magazine that they're launching tonight. It says Las Vegas Heals. But uh, we're very the happy beginning. It's in the back. And, uh, well, this is all about um, healthcare. So much every day with what we're seeing and the collaboration. So to Diego's point, we have several initiatives right now. Or is this and Diego Hill and the middle of all Shelley Burke? Right now, we have a Good Jobs Challenge Plan mm -hmm. that has already been submitted uh, to EDA in Washington, and we will find out about that. Probably Next issue is March 24. And certainly, how many dollars will be involved by June if we're awarded money? And that's a big one. That's $28 million that we're asking for. Wow. And we're going to spread the $28 million among the three industry clusters we're looking at right now. One of those is um, advanced manufacturing, the other is IT or communication technologies, and the third, of course, is healthcare. And so if we can get $9 million, that'll go a long way to help improve our infrastructure, right? And what we need to do. And healthcare especially is critical because not only is, is it one of the growing, and it has been forever, in terms of industries here, industry clusters and sector, but uh, we need it now more than ever. And people are tired. They are stressed. And a lot of people are leaving. If rumors are true, we're going to see, for example, hopefully it's going to happen, but in the nursing uh, group, up to 40%, let's say they're wrong, 20% are thinking about leaving or retiring and or retiring. What would that, that would be a crisis, right? You know, we're already in a crisis. That would be a crisis on top of a crisis. So healthcare especially, uh, failure is not an option. We cannot fail in that area. And so we're taking the systems approach now. The Good Jobs Challenge Grant, which we just mentioned, is gonna be looking at how do we develop the infrastructure, how do we do the curriculum and the training, and then finally, how do we actually implement it. The difference now from initiatives that we may have done in the past is we're taking the systems approach that will look at how the workforce, the um, education slash training providers, as well as economic development stakeholders, how can they all work closer together? Because that's what we really need to do, right? We have to align our resources, align our um, strategies, so that we have that maximum impact. I, I always try to liken it to a wall. And I'll, I'll describe this wall that's 500 pounds. If I push against that, I promise you it's not going to go anywhere. <laughs> but give me two or three other people, and guess what? That starts to move. And that's how it works everywhere in the country. When you develop a mindset of regional consensus on what you want to be, who you want to be, and for us, of course, in this room, it's healthcare. What do we want to be as far as healthcare goes? And once we're all aligned with that, then we have this concerted effort, and guess what happens? Magic. Okay, hi friends. This is uh, Diego Trujillo. 
He's the chairman of Vegas Heels. Okay, Diego, how are you tonight? How are you doing? I'm doing good tonight. I'm uh, excited at our event here um, at Adorn Events. We're celebrating the launch of our new community healthcare magazine and our partnership with Real Vegas Magazine here in Las Vegas. All right, so what does uh, Las Vegas Heels do? Las Vegas Heels stands for Health, Education, Advocacy, and Leadership. We establish task forces that work together to address healthcare issues here in Southern Nevada so that we can improve it. And additionally, we bring together and develop programs and education for leaders and for leadership so that companies are able to use that to train their employees. Uh, we have advocacy and we work with legislators, lobbyists to help to make things better in, in that field. We have a legislative task force that helps to identify agendas that we can get behind in the legislators so that we can help to push for change here in Southern Nevada. Yeah. And so we're very excited to be able to bring the healthcare. We're one of the healthcare companies together. We're the only organization that is provides the table for every organization. So it doesn't matter um, where you fit in within healthcare. If you help to keep people healthy, or even if you're in palliative care or hospice, and you're just helping them have quality of life, we are that place for everyone to congregate and work together towards solutions for Southern Nevada and improving the healthcare here. So how do they get in touch with you if they're interested? The easiest way, so Heels has been around for 20 years. Our website is fantastic, has a ton of information, our calendar of events, and that's lasvegasheels.org. Okay, and so uh, what is this night about? So this night is to celebrate the launch of our magazine. Um, it's something that we have been working on for the last uh, probably three months when someone dropped the idea and once they dropped the idea and gave it to us we were very excited to be able to put together <laughs> a healthcare community uh, magazine that'll help us showcase the wonderful things that not only our members at Heels are doing but to be able to show everybody the things that are happening in Las Vegas and to be able to send information to people outside of our state that may be interested in moving and relocating to Las Vegas. So we focus on everything from Clark County Medical Society to just interesting stories of a, a maybe a medical assistant that took a little extra time to go deliver groceries. Our job is to showcase the good in our community, to be able to show off a thriving healthcare community here in Las Vegas. Do you have a Facebook page? I do. I'm also the founder and president of Vegas Healthcare. Oh. That is a, uh, a Facebook group. It started as a Facebook group that has now grown. Um, we have about 11,000 healthcare professionals there. And then we have another nursing group with about 4,000 nurses. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, I know. My goodness. Okay. So Diego, please invite them. Absolutely. Yeah. If you're on Facebook, look us up at Vegas Healthcare. Um, just look at Vegas Healthcare. We, we are the largest group. When you look that up, we should pop up immediately. You can look for us at lasvegasheels.org or you can reach out directly. Um, our email, our contact is with Adriana. That's Adriana at lasvegasheels.org. If you want to advertise in the magazine, if you're interested in participating in Heels and working to improve our community, you're welcome to come and join us as we see this new vision post-COVID. Okay. Thank you for doing what you're doing, Diego. No, thank you, and Vicky. we are here to support you. We love you, Diego. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. Bye-bye. I love Vicky Vegas. Okay. You guys thank well. you.